Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I've got a ton of Yonex rackets that we're gonna take a look at here together. I'm gonna to do a review of the brand new 2021 Yonex V-Core 95 and the V-Core 98. I'm also gonna be comparing those two new Yonex rackets. You guys can see the two new ones here with the blue outlines, with the blue little stripes on them there. I'll be comparing these two with each other. So I'll let you guys know which one you should buy, whether you should go for the V-Core 95 or for the V-Core 98. And I'll also be telling you guys how they compare to my older version of the V-Core 95, which I've been using since it came out a couple of years ago. So this is really gonna be a Yonex filled day. I'll also be taking you guys out on court with me and I'll show you guys exactly how these rackets look on the court and how it looks when you're actually hitting with these rackets in terms of the ball speed, trajectory, all that kind of good stuff. And I'll tell you guys how they felt playing with them back to back on the court. Well, let's get to the court and let's get to the review. And so starting off with the V-Core 95, which is the one that I have on the clip right here. Uh, this one is super similar to the racket that I have. In fact, it is just the newer version. As most of you guys know, I've been using the V-Core 95, the all red version for quite a few years now. I absolutely love that racket. So I was really excited to try out the new one, the 2021 version. I was a little bit skeptical trying this one because from the looks of it just on the outside, all it looks like is a new paint job on the racket. They look virtually identical in terms of the mold even has the same little cutouts for the aerodynamics. Um, but one of the things that I read that they actually did different is that they did change the taper of the racket up near the top of the racket. They thinned it out a little bit to make it swing a little bit faster through the air. And another thing they did is they also made it a little more dampened and a little more muted in terms of the vibration dampening system that they use. They use a more advanced one in this 2021 version. Now what that translates to on court is First, let me start with the positives. All these additions make it much more comfortable to use. Although the old V-Core 95, I wouldn't call it uncomfortable. It was very comfortable. I used it for coaching, had it for many hours straight on the court, never had a problem with my arm or anything like that. But I can tell you that the new version of the V-Core 95 is even more comfortable. So if you're somebody who spends a lot of time out on the court, maybe you're a coach as well, Definitely one I would recommend as it's a super plush feeling racket, very comfortable. You're not getting too much shock going through your arm. But that also comes with a little bit of a negative. If you're somebody who likes to really feel the ball, get a lot of feedback from the string bed, you're losing a little bit of that with the 2021 model compared to the previous version. So it all depends on your preference, what you're doing out on court. If you're somebody who's competing and you really like having that feedback from the string bed, you like to know when you're hitting it dead center, when the ball's a little bit off in terms of helping you improve, I would maybe suggest going with the older one, especially with it being on sale now with this new version out, many of the racket shops are trying to clear them out. So you can find a really good deal. In fact, I even have a link in my description to the racket guys where they have it on sale as well. Uh, now in terms of the price with this new one, that was one thing I really didn't like. Uh, they, it seems that Yonex has increased the price of the new rackets. What I remember in terms of Canadian dollars, what I'm looking at, the new rackets used to be priced at $259.99 plus tax, which already I thought was a really expensive price for rackets. But now with these new ones, their starting price is $279.99 plus tax. But hey, you know, it looks like everything is getting a little more expensive, so it's no surprise that rackets are getting more expensive as well. But not something I like to see as it makes it a little bit harder for people to get into the game with the starting price of rackets being so much higher than it used to be. One of the things I mentioned earlier on these new Yonex V-Core models is that they did take a little bit of a tapered approach up at the top of the racket. And the reason they did that is to increase the swing speed of the racket. Now being completely honest with you guys, I didn't really feel much of that when I was on court. I'm sure it did have some small effect, but going from my old V-Core 95 to this new V-Core 95, I can't say that I really noticed a big difference in terms of how the swing felt between the two, felt very, very similar. And now just switching clips here, I'm using the V-Core 98. I know it's super hard to tell as the rackets look exactly the same. The only difference is 
the little 98 and 95 symbols that are on the throat of the racket. But other than that, the design of the racket is exactly the same. Now with the V-Core 98, a couple big differences here in terms of the 95 to the 98. I did tell you guys I was gonna compare them. So let me give you guys a little rundown of the differences between these rackets. So in my opinion, besides just the head size difference, the biggest thing you're gonna notice is the difference in the string pattern it does create a very different kind of playing feel off of the string bed when you hit the ball. And maybe you guys are able to see that between these two clips. The V-Core 95 uses a 16 by 20 string pattern, while the V-Core 98 here that I'm using uses a much more conventional 16 by 19 string pattern. So you're getting a little bit more of an open string pattern, especially on the bigger head size. So of course you guys know from watching my other videos, that means you're gonna get a little bit more bite on the ball, you're gonna get a little bit more spin from that 98, and you're also gonna be getting a little bit more easier power with more of an open string bed there. So that's something I definitely noticed, and it really comes across on the launch angle of the ball. What I noticed is going from the 95 directly to the 98, that was the first thing that I started to pick up on is that the 98 has a lot higher launch angle, a lot more net clearance with, uh, with the 98. It's definitely more of a player friendly racket compared to the 95, where I found the 95 is very rewarding when you have a clean contact and nice swing on the ball. The 98 is a lot more friendly if you're a little bit late on the shot. Uh, definitely helps you out a lot having a little bit of a bigger head size as well as the more open string pattern does some of the work for you and helps you out in those departments there. All right guys, and stepping off the court back into the office here, taking a look at the two of these, one of the things I promised you guys was that I'll tell you guys which one you should buy. Now, it really comes down, like I always say, to your game and the type of player you are and what you're trying to get out of your racket. My opinion is that your racket should always be a complement to your game. It should really focus on what you're trying to do on court and help you execute that. So here are my recommendations. If you are a more advanced player with good power, you, you have no problem generating your own power, you're looking for a little bit more control, maneuverability, something that can really help you transition from the baseline up to the net, the V-Core 95 is the way to go. Excellent ground strokes with this one, super precise. Again, the only thing that you're gonna need here is you're gonna really need to generate your own power. With this one, keep that swing nice and smooth and this racket is gonna reward you. It's a great racket and that's the player I would recommend this racket to. If you're on a budget, I would recommend maybe going for the previous model, save a little bit of money, they're very similar. But if you're somebody who spends a lot of hours on court, definitely talking to the coaches out there, I would recommend maybe shelling out a little bit of extra cash for the uh, newer version, for the 2021 version of the V-Core 95, as it's gonna be a lot more comfortable for you guys to use, especially for those long days out on court. Now, one thing I really like about these Yonex rackets is with this isometric head shape, which kind of expands the sweet spot of the racket, I found that they really play like a bigger head size. What I mean by that is that the 95, even though it is a 95 racket, it does feel like it's bigger. It feels like at least a 97 or a 98 square inch racket whereas the 98 feels like a 100 square inch racket, like some of the 100 square inch rackets that I played with before. So that's just something to keep in mind, especially if you're somebody who's maybe hesitant of trying the V-Core 95 because of the smaller head size. I'm telling you guys, it plays like a larger head size, so don't be afraid of testing it out. And now switching over to the V-Core 98 over here, the 2021 V-Core 98, I would recommend this one for more of an intermediate to advanced player, maybe somebody who's transitioning, really working on their game, going from that three, five level, maybe trying to progress to the four five. This is one that's gonna help with that transition. And as you transition into the more advanced playing, you can definitely bring this one with you with the lower weight that it starts with being only 305 grams unstrung. Definitely something you can customize as you become a little bit more advanced. And the big head size, nice open string pattern is really nice for generating top spin, a little bit easier power. And this one's really great for transitioning from defense to offense, does everything really well. I would really compare this one really closely to the Wilson Blade 98. If you're a Wilson Blade fan and you're maybe looking to switch, try something new, I'd recommend you guys test this one out for sure. And again, if you're somebody on a budget, I would recommend you guys check out maybe the previous version it's not so different from, from this new one. Again, if you're looking for more comfort, definitely worth the extra money to go with the 2021 version as the comfort level in this is really, really nice. Very plush, very comfortable, no shock on the arm. 
really just nice to play with all day. Now, if you're looking to buy either the 2021 version of the V-Core, or if you're looking to get the all red or special edition black versions, they're all available on the Racket Guys website, which I will link down in the description of this video. Now, before I wrap up this video, let's just take a look at the mic score. I did add these to the mic score chart. So let me just pull that up for you guys right here. So if we take a look at these two rackets, you guys can see that I did score the V-Core 95 a little bit higher than the V-Core 98. And the only reason why is because it got a couple extra points in the maneuverability. Uh, you guys can see I gave the 95 a nine and the 98 an eight there. Both of them really maneuverable rackets, really nice to play with, easy to swing from any spot on the court, any shot. But the V-Core 95, in my opinion, is probably one of the most maneuverable rackets that I've played with, definitely in the top three for sure. So it did edge out the V-Core 98 in maneuverability. And as you guys can see, I also thought that the V-Core 95 had some better control, feel, and the cool factor. And so the reasons why I gave it a little bit of better score there, control, definitely you're getting more precision with that 16 by 20 string bed, a little bit smaller head size. This thing is an absolute laser. The V-Core 98 is still really impressive. As you guys can see, it got really good scores all the way across the board. The V-Core 98 is definitely more of an all around racket, whereas the V-Core 95 is really all about precision, maneuverability, and it really excels in those categories. Now I gave the V-Core 95 a slightly higher score here in the cool factor. It's a lot rarer to see 95 square inch rackets out on court. I think that adds to the cool factor. And it's also endorsed by Dennis Shapovalov. Of course, you guys know I'm Canadian, so I gotta give it a point for that there. And Dennis is one of the most entertaining players to watch, definitely with that jumping backhand. So that, in my opinion, kind of edges it just slightly above the V-Core 98 in the cool factor. Now, if we look at styling, here is where it disappointed me a little bit. Yes, both of them look great, but I think it was really unimaginative, you know, going from that all red, just adding a little blue stripe to, to the rackets. I don't think that really does anything. It just like they wanted to show that, hey, this is a different racket. So in my opinion, didn't really hit with, uh, with the styling. Could have done a lot better, could have been more creative, but they're not ugly. So, uh, so they are gonna get a seven, both of them. Like I said, look exactly the same. So they're tied in that category. And as you guys can see, compared to the other rackets, the V-Core 95 is definitely in the higher category, whereas the 98 kind of is one of those mid-tier rackets. Like I said, the V-Core 98 is kind of like a jack of all trades racket. But there are rackets out there, like I mentioned earlier, the Wilson Blade version 7, whether you're getting the 16 by 19 or the 18 by 20 string pattern versions, they just do a little bit better job at being that multi-purpose type of racket. So that's why the V-Core 98 doesn't quite get to that higher level in the score there. All right, guys, so I hope that you guys enjoyed that review of the Yonex V-Core 95 and the Yonex V-Core 98 and my little comparison to my older Yonex V-Core 95. If you guys did enjoy this video, please smash the thumbs up down below. It really helps out my channel. I always appreciate when you guys do. As you guys can see, the channel has been growing and it's all thanks to you guys, so I really appreciate it. If you guys have any more questions about any of these three rackets here, please leave it down in the comment section. I will answer all the comments on my videos. And that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Please make sure you guys leave that like down below, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Peace out and keep swinging.